Today, we have a special guest in the kitchen. Welcome everyone to Thungry Thursday. So growing up in the cold winter months of New England, there was always one friend that you could count on to give you a warm meal, and that was Mr. Chef Boyardee. Now I haven't had this stuff for quite some time and I liked it when I was a little kid. I saw it on sale at Stop and Shop so I figured I would pick it up. Don't really notice any big differences on the can other than they're plastering all over the place that it doesn't have any artificial flavors, preservatives, anything of that nature. And as far as I can see it's probably going to be the same stuff that I grew up with. So without further ado I'd like to introduce another friend of mine, Mr. Chef Mike, who's going to let me put this inside of him and see how it tastes. Thank you, Chef Mike. All right, here we go. The first time I've had Chef Boyardee and I don't know how long. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting a minute and 30 seconds to completely cook it. That's what it says on the can, it would only take a minute and 30 seconds, but I mean, it's mostly water. It's not bad, it's real acidic. I can taste that now. We we'll definitely need salt. So I just realized after putting salt in here, I didn't even try the meat before I see if it needed salt. So, yeah, I still need salt. I don't know, it just, it tastes almost the same, but there's something different. Maybe because it's more healthier for you nowadays. All right, well, I guess I'm going to eat the rest of this. That is going to do it for today's episode. As always, if you guys have a suggestion for a future episode of Thungry Thursday, leave it in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you tomorrow for a very special episode of Free For All Friday. Peace. So as a kid, nothing beats a nice, quick, hot lunch, and also nothing beats the taste of Chef Boyardee's never-ending rolling can.